Alrighty, so let's set up our character's quest log. So this is going to be, since it's a widget that pertains to the character, I'm going to put it in this HUD Elements folder. So I'm going to right click User Interface Widget Blueprint. This is going to be Quest Log underscore W. And then User Interface Widget Blueprint Quest Log Icon underscore W. So first one I'm going to work on is the quest log. I'm going to change this to desired on screen. I'm going to make this a button and I'm going to try to match it up with the one that I made from before. So quest icon that was 375 by 50. So I'm going to make it look the same. So it's going to be 375 by 50. Then it's going to have a text block that is the quest name. Quest name is a variable and it is light type based. So in the graph, oop, I'm going to get rid of all that. I'm going to add a variable called quest info. Just like we did in the other one, that way we can register all the variables needed. So I'm going to drag out my quest info and break it open to get prepared. Then I'm going to get my quest name and set the text. And the text is going to be the quest name. Just like that. Now this one will also have an on hybrid event, but we'll do that in just a little bit. So now, out here, I can open my quest log widget. And I'm going to, as always, wrap it with a scale box and a size box. Anything that goes on the full screen needs to be wrapped, but anything that's fed into it doesn't, per se. Now I'm going to grab a canvas panel, drop it on my canvas panel, anchor it to the center left, fight the urge to say Canception, position Y back to 0, position X offset to 50, and now my quest, oh this is a different one, I'll do it this way, let's see if it's at, no nah, let's do it, I'll do the same as the quest screen one. So it's 425 by 750. Uniformity, I suppose, is something I should try to try to do. Now the alignment on the Y, 0. 0.5. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to throw an image onto it. That is anchored to the whole thing. Offset it all back to zero. Set the tint to black and 0.5 now this is now going to have two texts so I'm going to drop one canvas or one text onto the canvas panel I'm going to anchor it to the top left because this is going to be what the just, it just says uh, complete or accepted accepted quests I'm going to make sure it's justification is to the center now let's move it down a little bit. Not that far. Maybe 25. That looks good. Italic. It's looking nice. Alright, so now I'm going to add a scroll box to this canvas panel. And I'm going to size it up real good like. So this is what is going to hold all our, you know, the, the quest that we have. So I'm going to add a uniform grid panel to this thing. Slot padding. I'm going to set it to, I want 10 in between each quest. Which, while I'm here, you can do that over here on your quest grid also. And just to show you what that just did. Put a little bit of space between them. 
Makes it look a little nicer. Makes it look nice. Alright, so we've got our uniform grid panel. I'm going to call this accepted panel. Is a variable. Now I'm going to add another scroll. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Alright, I need to do the text first. Alright, I'm going to add a text block here. Let's see, I'm going to anchor it to the center this time. 0, 0, 0.5.5. Yeah, that worked out almost perfect. Alright, but I am going to move it down just a little bit. Of course, you can put these wherever you like. I'm just... I'm finicky. So this is going to be our completed quests. Make sure it's justification is centered as well, and make it look, what did I do, italic, italic. Now we're going to repeat the process from up here, and I'm going to add a scroll box. I'm going to make it about the same size, so it is 375 by 275. Because I was not trying to remember all them decimals. 375 by 275. All right. 24 and 72. So let's do 24 on the X. That way it's lined up left to right with that top one. We can't do, uh, you know, can't do the, the 74 otherwise, or the 72 on there on the Y because then it'd be just overlapping. All right. And then we will add another uniform grid panel. To the second scroll box. Gonna make it laid out just like the top one. This one is going to be completed panel and it is also a variable. Why do I feel like this video is dragging? Okay, no, no, we're good. We's good. All right, so I'm going to compile that real quick. And I'm going to go into the graph. So on event construct, we need to get the player blueprint. So we're going to cast to player blueprint. Get player character. Because we need both the accepted quests and the completed quests. Now we're going to do the accepted quests first. So we're going to do this on a for each loop. We're going to get the data table row. The data table in question is our quest data table. The array element, we will do enum to string so we can convert that name to something we can actually use. And for the out row, on the row found, we are going to create widget. The widget will be our quest log icon. Quest log icon. Now, did we set the item in? Yeah, quest info up in there. Alright, so off of here we will set quest info to the info found here. And then we will grab out our accepted panel, add child to uniform grid, the content being the quest log, and then this is the row that we need to update because we're going up and down. So the row is up and down, the column is left and right. So I'm going to promote this to a variable called a r o w for accepted row. And then every time we do this, we want to then increment the row that we are adjusting. Now at the very beginning, back this up a little bit. I'm going to grab out my accepted panel and we want to clear the children just like always. Because if there's nothing in it, it won't do anything, but if there is, we can start fresh. I'm going to grab out my completed panel because you can clear two children off one 
call, so that'll work good. I'm going to set A row back to 0. Back this up just a little bit further because we need one more just like this called C row for our completed. And we'll set that to 0 at the front too just to go ahead and get that out of the way. Alright, and now what we'll do from here is once this is completed, we're basically going to duplicate the process with the completed quest from here, adding it to the other grid. So you can just copy and paste this, just like... Well, let's not copy that and that. So you don't need the accepted panel or the A row. I'm going to control C, control V. So once it's completed all this, then we can do this one for the completed quests. Let's see. Target is now our completed panel. And the column is, or the row, is our C row. C row. C row. Crow. That's a good movie. Alright, so now that that's done, we need a way to actually get that on screen. So let's go back to our player blueprint. And I'm going to editor. Now in the main events graph, I'm going to find a spot. And I'm just going to do on an L key for now. Now let's do it proper. Let's do it proper. Project settings. I'm going to go to inputs. And this is going to be quest screen. And it will be my L key for log. So quest screen action event. Just to show you that it's working, let's create widget. And the widget will be just our, our quest quest log. Alright, and then we'll add to viewport just to show you that it should theoretically all be working now. So before I open it, I'm going to complete one quest and accept the other. So, completed, accepted. Yeah, they're filling out just like they should. So we got the one up there in the target practice and then the one down here that I completed. So now it's just going to, if I hit L, it's just going to keep, you know, repeating that creation. So we need to update this a little bit, just like we did on the other ones. So I'm going to add a variable. This is going to be quest log open question mark branch right here hook that up and on the false is where we create it but what we can do since we already have this let's just promote this to a variable called ql now quest log widget or underscore w or whatever you want to call it I was gonna call it just qlw but then I would get confused and be like what the hell is that cuz I know me not the sharpest spoon in the shed. <laughs> so I'm going to drag this down here. Now for the quest, we want to get this set that we just did. We want to get that. And we're going to see, is it valid? Now if it is, we don't need to create it again. If it's not valid, then we create it. But if it is valid, we can just add it to the viewport. Just like that. So at the end of this, we will set quest log open. Quest log widget. If it is open, then we remove from parent and set that it is now closed. Just like a debt. So now I can take a look. I can open it, close it, open it, close it. Yeah, alright. So let's take a look. If I go accept both quests, I won't complete one, but let's just accept them both. They're both up there. Let me complete that one. It's down there now. So that's working pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, in the next one we will set up all the, the display stuff so that when we hover oh, when we hover over this it'll cast over to here and actually show you the details of your accepted quest. The completed quests well, let's do let's do one more thing real quick. Um so what we can do is for our quest log every time it adds a button to our completed side, we can invalidate it. 
So I'm going to create quest log. I'm going to set and set is enabled. And then I'm just going to set it to not enabled so that it has more of a finalized look to it. So let me show you what that just did. So now it's got, well, let me get the other one. So now you can see I can click, I can hover over that top one, but I can't do anything with that bottom one. So it kind of gives it a more finalized look. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, so now in the next one we will start adjusting all the details and get the description and all that stuff floating on our screen when we're looking at it. So I will see you all in a bit.